three summers ago. Um, we took a bit of a break. A bunch of, of not so great things happened. You know, our bass player left. Uh, we started dealing with the things in the wake of that, and then um, James needed to go ahead and uh, go away and deal with some things of his that were maybe at a, a deeper level. For the first time in Metallica's, at that time, 20-year career, um, we were in a bit of a timeout. I got all the rules. I got all their tapes for myself. Welcome to San Quentin. We got together again to play music uh, after that time. One thing I do have to tell you before you enter, the state has a no hostage policy. We just sat down and started playing music together. There was no agenda, no that. master plan, no anything. I think the inspirations um, were reconnecting. Uh, we're once again surviving. I was sure hoping that St. Anger was going to be the first single because it fit in perfect with my vision of the song and the lyrics. I feel my world shake. We had made a decision to go with this song first, and, and, and we, we thought that it would be an, a good idea to shoot something in a prison-like setting. And then, of course, um, we realized that we could do that comfortably down in Hollywood on a few sound stages. And But then we're like, our studio and, and where we live is like 10 minutes from San Quentin. And we was just like, well, what about over there, those yellow buildings over there? <laughs> I don't know if people know, but this is our first official gig, and uh, what a way to kick it off, you know, playing for the inmates of San Quentin. Anger just come out sideways, you know, the wrong way instead of a healthy way. It's come out sideways in these guys, you know. This is kind of the, you know, not the ultimate consequence, but in Death Row right over there is. It's been a wild, interesting, amazing, surreal, uh, overwhelming journey. Like Lars said, hey, the train's moving, get on board and hold on tight, because it ain't gonna stop. This record, a sound bite that would be probably just about a weak, you know, being comfortable with your weaknesses and, and, and being in a place where you feel that you can talk about them, write about them, sing about them, scream about them. <laughs> When I'm 60, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's possible to play it when you're 60 years old physically.